Hello and welcome to today's Trade Radiators video. This is a very brief video about how to balance a heating system. I hope you enjoy it. All heating systems, especially two-storey heating systems, need to be balanced. By balance we mean that you evenly distribute the flow from the boiler and the pump throughout all the radiators in the house. A quick diagram will show you why we need to do this. So, we have our boiler, our pump, and we usually go into a diverting valve off to our hot water cylinder, but then one side will go to our radiators. Now, if we divide the house into two stories, hot water prefers to stay high up in the system. It's like anything that's hot, like a hot air balloon, that will like to rise up to the top. For that reason, it's most important that we balance the radiators at the top of the system. So, if we look at this system here, we have a radiator here, a radiator here, and then downstairs, we have another radiator there, and another radiator there. They all have common returns, going back to the system and back to the boiler. So basically what we'd have here is this radiator is first in line and also it's upstairs. For that reason, that means it's gonna get loads and loads of flow from the boiler and the pump and then it's just gonna go back to the boiler and not go around the other radiators. So what we do is we go to what's called the lock shield end of the radiator and shut that down, right down, and then give it a quarter or half a turn back open again. Now what you'll notice then is that the radiator might take slightly longer to get warm, but not much, but it will always get to the hot temperature that it used to. What you've basically done there is you've distributed the flow not just through that radiator but you've then pushed it to this radiator here more and maybe these two at the ground floor. What you'd then do is you'd strangle this one down as well on the lock shield, you'd shut that all the way down and then open it back up half a turn and then that one will be balanced. Then you'd find that these two radiators downstairs are getting nice and warm. The other reason we balance the heating system out is sometimes you'll find that all the radiators upstairs and downstairs are getting hot but then there's one radiator on the extremity of the system that isn't getting warm. So you'd balance all those radiators out by shutting all the radiators that are getting hot, opening them up half a turn and then giving it half an hour and you should find that all the rads, including the one that didn't get hot before, will also get warm. So let's show you physically how you actually balance a radiator and do this to a normal heating system. So we've got this upstairs radiator here and we're at the lock shield end now. What I'd usually do is turn this all the way shut, that means clockwise, and then Keep an eye, make a note of what a half a turn would be. So, I'm going to give this a half a turn, open, and that's that way, and then that's that radiator balanced. That means this rad will not take and pinch all the flow from the other radiators on the system. As I've said already, it will still get really, really hot. Now I'm going to go around the rest of the radiators on this system. There are four upstairs here, and shut the lock shields down on them and then give them a half a turn back open. As you can see here, we've got a different type of lock shield, which means we're going to have to take off this cap here, get an adjustable spanner, run that all the way shut, and then give it that half a turn back open again. Once you've done that to all the radiators upstairs, you should be able to come back downstairs now and feel that all your radiators are getting lovely and warm. So there you go, that's how you balance a heating system and that's also why you do it. Uh, I hope you found this video informative and that it's given you a better understanding of how to get all your radiators working in your home and how to get all the radiators working in your home efficiently. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.